What's up guys, Technology Info here, bringing you a new series to the channel. It's a Sony Vegas tutorial series. I'll be doing basic, intermediate and advanced tutorials. And this is lesson one on the basics, and this is getting to know Vegas and how to add effects. So we'll go to options up here and go to preferences. This will be the first thing I'll be showing you. If you go to display, there, there's a few options you may want to change. If you're in Sony Vegas Pro 8, if you uncheck this box and press apply, the screen will flip, just like in Vegas 8. However, I prefer it at the top. Also, the Vegas color scheme can be customized. <coughs> if I um, press that to display timeline, uh, sorry, to change the Vegas color scheme, I close down Vegas now <coughs> and open it back up. Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. It's now in white. Um, for the sake of it looking a bit simpler, I'll be doing this first tutorial in white, and then the rest of them will be in the grey colour, because I prefer it. Okay, so there's three things you don't actually need when you first start Vegas. That is this bit, the trimmer, and the mixer. You can close these two down. There's also a tab here be called Explorer. You don't need that much, because it's much easier to just press open and look through there. So I'm going to close that down. Just keep it if you feel more comfortable with it there. <coughs> okay, so this is your timeline at the bottom. This is where you'll be editing and making all tracks for your videos. At the top we got the different tabs, video effects, transitions, media generators and project media. They'll be more or less depending on what how you want it. At the right we got our preview window. Now, the good thing about Vegas is your preview window is completely customizable. If I was to go to properties, I can actually change the resolution of it to a widescreen 720p video. You can actually change the quality. For the sake of this, I'll be keeping it on auto, just so it can change itself. Okay, I'm going to add a video to the timeline. You can either do this by just dragging the video on or creating your track first. Just right click and press insert new track or control shift and Q. <coughs> now I'll insert my video by going to open, libraries, videos, and I'll use a sample video if they got any there. They got a wildlife one below. I'll just use this one for the sake of the video. Now you can already see that this video is actually a widescreen video because it's previewing in full widescreen. If I was to right click and go to properties, you'll see this box check, maintain aspect ratio. If the video is not actually a widescreen video, if you uncheck that and press OK, it will stretch the video for you. Now to cut and trim the video, you can just go to the end, trim one section down. Or you can do the same with the opposite end. <coughs> if you want to trim out certain sections, you can either split the clip by clicking on it, going edit, split, or by pressing S on your keyboard. If you want to undo something, either use the undo key at the top up here, or you can press Ctrl Z as the shortcut. I'll put one split in there. I'll add a transition in this video. This Sony Vegas comes with a load of transitions. I'm using the Pro Edition so I got every one there is actually out there. However, if there's some that you can download, I wouldn't have them right now. I'll insert this one. You'll see the event effects appears. Now, that doesn't matter because you don't really need to change this and you don't really need to be animating it. To make the video smoother at the top, if you highlight the selected section by using the key up here, you press Shift B, it'll do a, what's called a RAM render, which will render the video so you can view it much smoother and better quality in your preview window. So that's done now, we can go to the preview window. You can see how smooth it actually is. If you can't see it, it's so smooth with my screen recorder, but it's about playing at a the constant rate that it would be if the video was fully rendered. 
Now if I was to do some fades, I can zoom in to the bar by using the scroll wheel or the plus or minus keys down here. Same for the actual size of the tracks. If I wanted to add a fade, I'd go to this corner. I'll drag in what's called fade offset. I'll do that for 0 0.17 seconds. If you want to change what type of fade it is, you can right click when the icon appears and choose one. A dot will be indicated for the one you're actually on. I'll go with this fade. Same for fading out, you just do it in the other direction. And you can right click and choose your fade. Now when we play the video, you'll see some fades. Let's skip to the end one. This is a quick fade then. Fades depend on how long you actually put them in for. So right now we got the fades and the transitions put in. And that was pretty simple. If we wanted to add an effect, for example, we will put in a colour effect. Let's have a look here. We'll have to go to video effects. We'll go to brightness and contrast and we'll do darker. You all you have to do is drag it on the video. If you go to a section of the video, you can see how it has changed. Also, you can adjust it yourself. You don't need to confirm anything once you finish the sign. Just press the X and it'll save. <coughs> okay, so that's pretty much adding effects to Vegas. If you want to ever go back, you can use this t button by here. Or ultimately, you can right-click and go to Media Effects. This will give you the option to add more as well. So the next video will be on keyframing in Vegas, as it's one of the most important things you'll ever need to know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.